Miss Melinda here, your spiritual worker from MissMelindasMetaphysicalServices.com, here to bring you the new moon reading for the new moon in Pisces occurring on February 23rd at 9.33 a.m. United States Central Standard Time. And I would like to thank my mystic members who make these new moon readings possible. It's because of my Patreon members that I'm able to bring you these new moon readings each month. So today I'm going to be using the Morgan Greer deck and I am going to be choosing four cards. I will talk about them individually and then I'll talk about them all together. So we are asking for spiritual guidance regarding how to best traverse the energy of this new moon. What do we most need to know to successfully traverse the energy of this Pisces new moon in February 2020? I've got the first card coming up. It's the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles the way that I see the Four of Pentacles is it's about control. Yes, it's about balance. Obviously, it's about balance and staying sound, staying grounded in your material world. But look how tightly he's holding on to those pentacles. The Four of Pentacles reminds us that it's good to stay grounded. It's good to stay balanced. It's good to stay on top of things and be responsible and take care of our material, physical world but we don't want to get carried away with trying to control every aspect of it. And when we apply this to money, it's like you don't want to hold too tightly to it. When you hold too tightly, it doesn't encourage a healthy flow of abundance. It doesn't encourage a healthy exchange. There needs to be an energy of reciprocity in order for us to receive our abundance or in order for us to receive any blessings that are due for us. Us. The energy has to be able to come and go just like money naturally has cycles of accumulating versus outflowing, right? So that's what the Four of Pentacles reminds me of that we need that kind of balance and we need to refrain from trying to exert too much control or hiding, holding on too tightly. Let's see what our next card is for best traversing the Pisces new moon energy of February 2020. I've got a card coming out. It's the Ace of Rods or Ace of Wands. In this deck, it's the Rods. I love these Aces. I love the Ace of Rod, Rods because it's very much about inspiration. It's about inspiration and action, but to me, the Ace of Wands really melds together, together the energy from the Ace of Swords and the energy of the Wands. So it's not just about action, it's about inspired action. It's about having the right ideas and also being able to act on those ideas. Um, and it has a real energy of momentum. Of course, the Aces are always a new beginning, so it can be the beginning of a project, the beginning of an endeavor or just a shift in our lives, but there's action behind it. It has momentum. It's forward thinking. It's progressive. Let's see what our next card is for best traversing the energy of the new moon on February 23rd, 2020. What is our next piece of guidance? Ooh, the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is progressing. He's making progress, but it's slow and steady progress. But it's consistent and it's apparent. When this card comes up in conjunction with a project or in conjunction with a relationship, the indication is that you will continue to see the progress. You will see it and you will feel it. It will be apparent, but it may go a little bit slower than you would like. However, slow and steady wins the race. Going slow, step by step, and making sure that everything is done correctly is oftentimes going to ensure a much better outcome in the long run. With the Knight of Pentacles, the indication is 
Yes, it may be moving slowly, but the long-term benefits are going to be extraordinary. The longevity is there, loyalty is there, consistency. Um, there's a lot of very honor honorable attributes with this Knight of Pentacles. Let's see what our last card is and then we can tie all of this together. What's our last card for best traversing the new moon energy of February 2020? Only one card. That's all we need. The deck wants to spit out a few. Let's see. There it is. The Queen of Cups, very interesting, well-balanced spread that we have here. The Queen of Cups, of course, it's about your emotional life, your intuition, your spiritual connection, your psychic abilities. Um, for this spread, I'm feeling emotions, emotional energy. The Queen of Cups, she knows how to be sensitive and she knows how to be vulnerable and she's okay with her feelings. She's comfortable in her feelings. She's confident. She's okay expressing them. She's okay being honest about how she really feels. Even if she's not feeling great, she'll tell you that she's not feeling great. She is very sensitive though. So she may have a tendency to protect herself a little bit more than she needs to because she knows how sensitive she is and she doesn't want to get hurt like she has been in the past. So that's, um, that's kind of the shadow side of the Queen of Cups. That's the guidance that comes along with it or the, the piece to kind of um, take as advice to take to heart. So putting this all together, this is so interesting because we have the pentacles and then we have the cups and then we have um, everything except the swords represented here. So we're starting out in this position of sort of feeling a little tight, feeling a little restricted, feeling as if we need to exert more control or feeling as if we're afraid we're going to lose our resources. So think right now about what it is in your life that you're afraid right now of losing, afraid of losing your resources or afraid of losing your security. Resources can apply to all kinds of things, right? They can apply to our health, our, our health, our energetic self is a resource. They can apply to, it can apply, this can apply to any area of our life. What are you afraid of losing right now? What kind of security are you afraid of losing? What are you holding on to too tightly? It's time to think about how to loosen up and let some of that energy flow a little bit more freely, whether it's in our money or it's in our relationships. Those are the two things I'm picking up on the strongest here. Soon, we will have some inspiration, some very profound inspiration about how to act in a way that's going to allow us more freedom moving forward. So getting out of that restricted energy, being able to freely flow, being able to freely move forward, and not, not having any hesitation about it. Being able to act, to take action, and to do it in a way where we're feeling very confidently aligned with our inspiration. So feeling that kind of inspired motivation to take action and get get things flowing, that's definitely going to get us out of any areas where we're feeling stuck and as if we have to hold on tightly. But once we take the action, we need to then consider how to be patient and how to be sure that each step that we're taking is going to lead to the results that we are seeking long term. So what I'm picking up on here is that some inspired energy is going to get us to act, going to get us out of our stagnancy, going to get us moving and flowing forward towards the future. But once things kind of get shaken up, once they get broken up, once they're flowing forward, at that point, we need to kind of recollect and reassess the situation and think about the kinds of actions that are going to allow us our long-term goal, our long-term outcome. So really consider if 
our actions are in alignment with the outcome that we're seeking. And in order to do that, we need to know what kind of outcome we're seeking. And it can be as simple as this is how I want to feel in my life. If all you know is how you want to feel in your life, that's fine. Just focus on that feeling and that feeling is your outcome. And one of the reasons that I'm emphasizing feeling so much is because of this Queen of Cups card. And she plays a really important role here because she tells us, hey, even if it feels like it's all about your practical life, your material world, it's not. Don't forget to stop and think about and assess how you're feeling in your heart. How are you feeling emotionally? How are you feeling about this goal? And how do you want to feel in the future? And with the Queen of Cups being the outcome of this spread, it's really, she's the catalyst. She's the catalyst in this reading. So it's our hearts, it's our emotional bodies, it's the feelings that we want to have in our life. That's going to be our key to unlocking how to move forward. And this Pisces new moon is going to be an excellent time to tune into how we're feeling now and compare that to how we want to feel in the future. Take some inspired action as well as make some practical plans about how we're going to get from point A to point B. Happy new moon, everybody. Stay blessed.